Turn on the light, man. This, this would be so ridiculous. I am so sorry, you guys. Deep Three has nothing to do with ventriloquist puppets or, um, or plastic snakes. That's, uh, that's ridiculous and terrible. I'm sorry you had to see through that. Um, let's go down to the cabin. I'm going to show you exactly what Deep Three is. All right, so this is exactly what your spectator is going to see with the Deep Three deck. Um, I'm going to speak in code a little bit because I don't want to give anything away to uh, beginner magicians, but if you've been around and been performing for a while, you're going to recognize some of these principles. I'm using a hybrid version of Paul Harris's Anything deck uh, with some invisible technology with a whole bunch of other bells and whistles uh, that we'll get into later. My goal here is not to fool you with this, but just to show you how practical and how powerful uh, this can be. So this is it. This is exactly what the spectator sees. A deck of cards, you can show the faces of the cards, and you go through the deck, and you show your spectator two uniquely sexy, different looking joker ladies that your friend gave you, and you ask the person to go back in their mind and think of somebody that makes them happy. So while it's crazy, I, I recently ran into uh, this girl and uh, it made me laugh because she was actually the first girl I ever kissed and it was like in grade seven and uh, it was hysterical. And she's kind of new agey now into like tarot and mm -hmm. we talked for a bit, we don't really have anything in common, but she gave me, um, she gave me these two jokers, mm -hmm. um, like kind of vintage antique jokers. And she said, keep them in your deck of cards uh, at all times, you'll know why. And um, they have different backs and stuff, you can see. And she said, uh, they're going to they're gonna bring you luck. So she wrote something on the back, gave them to me. And, uh, you know, I don't, I'm skeptical. I don't, you know, buy a lot of that stuff. But uh, she said, honestly, keep them with you, and the right women will come into your life, and parking spaces will open up. And anyway, I don't know <laughs> if it's just like a placebo effect or not, but a lot of weird stuff has been happening. Um, but anyway, she brings a smile to my face. And, I want you to go back in your mind as an experiment and think of the first guy you ever kissed or if that wasn't any good then think of like the best guy you ever kissed right okay. and just kind of just kind of think of that person do you have a first and a last name in mind yeah and you're smiling so obviously <laughs> someone who makes you smile okay. and i want you to think in your mind of the first guy you ever kissed <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Do you, yeah, I know who that is. You know who that I is? I do. <laughs> that was like, town. It was like a clear memory, obviously. Yeah. What are the initials of that person? Do you remember first and last? Yes. B, D. And you're smiling, which is good. <laughs> <laughs> which is the whole purpose of this. Okay. I like smiling. Yeah. They give you the initials of the name. You pick up your deck. Let's say the initials are D, M. You just spread through the deck to show them the jokers that you just showed them moments ago. Okay, so you up jog one lady, two ladies, and you can clearly show that these are really the only two jokers in the entire deck. They pull the cards out themselves from the deck. You say, I really want you to go back in your mind and, and think about that uh, person that brings a smile to your face or the first kiss or whatever it is, and they do it again. They smile, you see, there it is, there's a smile. You say, for the first time, what was the name of the person? And they say, uh, Darko Mananovich. When they turn their hands over, they see the initials DM on the backs of the two jokers. So this is a combination of a lot of different magic principles all locked into one deck. Uh, no switches, no wallets. The jokers 
have been specially designed. We want it to make her sexy, but not too risque, and allows you to have some innuendo in your presentation, um, but they're also classy at the same time. The backs of the jokers are really important. These were specially designed um, so that those letters would just pop from across the room. It's their memory, your miracle, so many different applications. That's deep three. <laughs> That is so weird. That is unreal. <laughs> oh. <Christ. laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How did you do that? Oh. 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 Embarrassed right now. <laughs>